Hey guys, it's Becca here and welcome to another video. Um, I just want to point out before we start with this video, I know like you can't see my face. That is on purpose because I just don't want to show my face. Um, so, but I didn't want you guys to be staring at like the same thing. So I thought I'd do this so you can see the outline, you just can't see my face. But yeah, also this video is a collab with um, Molly's World. She's my best friend and you should all go subscribe to her. She did a Q&A as well. Um, so yeah, you should go check out her video because I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And without further ado, let's get started. So the first question is... What is your favourite Schleck course? So, my favourite Schleck course would definitely 100% have to be my Appaloosa Stallion because he is amazing. Right now, um, Charlotte, who rides him, is uh, riding him. But this is him. I named him Flame and his show name is fire drifter and yeah i just really really like him and riding him is charlotte you may have seen him in a lot of my posts on instagram or my instagram account and if you're not following my instagram account you should definitely go follow it because i post a lot more on there than i do on youtube and i will link that down below so the next question is favorite color my favorite color would 100 percent have to be blue I mean, come on, who doesn't love blue? Blue is all over my room. My whole room is blue. Blue is just an amazing colour. So, yeah. The next question is, what is my eye colour? My eye colour is brown. It's a really dark brown. I would show you it, but I don't want to... You guys see my face. So, I, I am sorry about that, but, you know. But my eye colour is dark brown. So, yeah, the next colour is my favourite sweet. So... For Americans, candy, but in England we call it sweets. So that's really hard. Oh, I love sweets so much. I've got a major sweet tooth, so it's hard for me to choose just one. But I absolutely love Jelly Belly jelly beans. They are bay, so yeah, they're amazing. But I also really, really like bonbons. Um, I don't know if you've heard of bonbons. Most people in England probably would have, but I'm not sure in, like, America. But it would have to be Jelly Belly Jelly Beans, because they are amazing. So the next question is, favourite place to shop for clothes? Oh, that's hard. There are so many amazing shops for clothes. But it would have to be New Look, because that's just a really nice shop. They have amazing clothes um, for like children, preteens, teens and yeah they also have some really nice accessories like purses so yeah it would have to be new look but I do like Debenhams and all that but if I had to choose it would be new look. So the next question is biggest pet peeve oh my gosh I have so many pet peeves oh okay it would have to be when I'm mm, there are so many but if I like I'll just choose one random one. It would have to be when I'm like, for example, if I'm at a sleepover with somebody and we're watching like YouTube and they're like, oh, let's type in this video, but it's like a really long video name. And they're like a really, really slow typer. Oh my God, that annoys me so, 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 so much. Oh God. Yeah, that really, really, really annoys me. I have loads more, but I just, if I had to pick one, that would just be, you know, any random one. So the next question is, what's your favourite animal? My favourite animal would have to be a dolphin and a horse. Obviously, I love horses because this is like a horse related account. But other than horses, obviously, it would so be a dolphin. Dolphins are amazing. I literally have dolphins all over my room. My bed sheets have dolphins on. Like, my wallpaper has dolphins on. Just dolphins. Dolphins are amazing. Okay. So, the next 
question is, what is your favourite type of horse? Ah. Oh. When she says favourite type of horse, I'm assuming favourite breed of horse. So, oh my gosh, there are so, so, so many. I don't know. I really like thoroughbreds. But I really, really like Appaloosas. They're absolutely beautiful. I love Appaloosas, Palominos. Mm, I just, I just love them. I don't know if I could choose just one, but I do really like Appaloosas, hence why the Appaloosa mold for Schleck is my favourite. So the next question is, how long have you been riding for? So I have been, so basically I am going to do a riding story video, um, so that will be coming up in a few weeks. Um, I think my next video is probably going to be a barn tour. So also comment down below if you want me to do monthly barn tours because I also do that because I have a massive barn in my room, um, Schleck barn. So yeah, but um, I started riding little ponies at fairs and that at the age of about two, maybe one or two. And then I started having weekly lessons, so proper horse riding at four. So... And I'm now 12, so, sorry, my maths is awful. So that's like nine years. Wow, I did not know I've been riding for nine years. Wow. So yeah, about eight or nine years, because I did stop for a few months, like maybe six months, but then I started again. So about eight to nine years. So the next question is, do you have a big passion for riding? Yes, horse riding is my passion. I love other sports or like hobby, like when I say sports, kind of like hobbies, like I do dance, I do drama, I do singing, but uh, horse riding is my main passion. Um, horse riding, I don't know. I just love horses so much and I love horse riding. I don't know what I would do if horse riding didn't exist. So um the next question is do you want to become a prof do you want to become a professional rider when you're older? So I would love to that would be an amazing dream come true. But I really people ask me like what do you want to be when you're older and I'm like I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what I want to be when I'm older. I'm just going to like let the future decide that. But it would be amazing to become a professional horse rider. In the Olympics, I mean, that would be amazing. But it's so much work. And Olympic horse riders, they're like... It's so much effort. And they put in so many hours. So I don't... Yeah. But I don't know if I'd want to do you know, be a full-time professional horse rider. But I, I definitely want to carry on with horse riding. Um, next question is, have you ever fallen off a horse? Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, but if you have never fallen off a horse, you are not a true, equ you are not a true equestrian. Um, I've fallen off horses many, 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 many times. Uh, probably at least 30 30 times I mean people can hate and say oh that means you're a bad rider no it means you push yourself um, and then the last question oh no sorry this is not the last question the next question is have you ever fallen off a horse and really really badly hurt yourself I haven't really really badly hurt myself luckily touch wood um, like, when you say really badly hurt yourself, I have never, like, broken a bone horse riding. I've sprained my ankle and wrist, and I've had a lot of deep cuts. And, um, like, I've hurt myself, but I haven't, you know, ever, like, had a severe fall. So, yeah, the next question is... 
what was your what is your funniest fall my funniest fall would have had to be at my old horse riding stables i no longer go there anymore um but at my old horse horse riding stables i was riding a horse called barney and he was an absolutely beautiful palomino but he was very hard to ride um so we were cantering up to a jump it wasn't that big it was just a little cross pole jump um it wasn't like a vertical or anything it was just a little mini jump to get warmed up and we were cantering up to that and then he suddenly stopped put his head down so this is me like on the saddle then he put his head down i like head first slid down his neck landed on the floor and because my riding instructor knew i could do the worm she was like do the worm do the worm so i just did the worm she didn't she was like are you okay she was just like do the worm and then she asked if i was okay but i was fine otherwise i wouldn't have done the worm so yeah that would have had to been my funniest fall because you know it was funny um and then the next question is do you have any pets i do i have a adorable little dog called molly she's a sausage dog crossed with a jack russell she is so 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 cute i will see if i can get up a picture of her now um so let me just get up a cute picture of her so that is a cute little picture of her so yeah she's adorable and I also have a tortoise called Nigel, and I'll show you a picture of her too. Basically, long story short, we thought he was a boy when we got him. Turned out he was a girl, because um, you can't tell until they're about seven. So uh, I, out of habit, call her a him, but he's a her. So this is just next to Molly, but um, that is little Nigel. Well, Nigella now, but she's adorable. So yeah, and then the final question is, do you drink coffee? I don't like pure, like plain coffee, but I love Starbucks, or as I call it, Starbase. Starbucks is amazing. And I have stuff with like coffee in, like Starbucks drinks and Costa drinks and that, but I don't have um, actual co plain coffee on its own. But yeah, that is all of the questions, so um apologies if this video was so long and i just want to say um a big thank you to molly for um giving me those questions um you should all go subscribe to her channel um and her instagram which is moles let me get it up sorry moles 908 she's my best friend ever so yeah thank you guys very much for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye.